Journaling is a way for me to just sit down and kind of reflect on things and when I've been journaling the past couple of days I've kind of been able to reflect on the luxuries that we have here in a first world country and how grateful and appreciative I am of them so I suggest you guys sit down start journaling take note of what you miss what you appreciate Good afternoon, good evening, good morning. Welcome to this video. Uh, so this is a four day trip. Just finished a three day trip that turned into a four day trip yesterday. What we get going on today, we're doing Boston to Fort Lauderdale. So today, day one, we were supposed to do three flights. We were supposed to do a Nashville turn, but that got canceled. So now all we're doing is Boston to Fort Lauderdale. And then day two, I was supposed to do a Fort Lauderdale to San Diego flight and then now it's just the Fort Lauderdale to San Diego deadhead. Yeah, so once I get to Fort Lauderdale, we have like a 44 hour layover today. And once we leave Fort Lauderdale, we go to San Diego and I'm supposed to deadhead there, but that is something that could change. And day four on the flight home, which is gonna be April 1st, is San Diego to Boston and I'm working that flight. We are on one of the 320s. I don't think I've worked on this one, but we have like plastic floors. They like shut down the Chelsea parking garage and they like shut down like other parking spots and they shut down like the Logan Express and like all those express uh, shuttles. So now we have to park at Terminal B and it took me like 20 minutes to find Terminal B because they closed off the regular entrance to park in Terminal B and it's just circling the airport to find the terminal. We have about 44 people on this flight there. Like I said, they're condensing people into flights to um, not waste as much fuel and be a little bit more fuel efficient. I have a dream, that's all I need I'll make it happen with some work and belief Know what I want, so I'll take it on I'll make mistakes, but mistakes make you strong Let's break it down for a minute I want the crown, I'm gonna get it, you hear me loud Alrighty guys, made it to the hotel. I'm uh, gonna be here for about 44 hours, so today is Sunday. I'll be here all day Monday. I'll be here all day Tuesday. And then we have a report time of like, I think 5 p.m. on Tuesday. And we came to the front desk and the lady, we asked her right off the bat, I was like, is the gym open? She's like, yes, which I was surprised. So the gym's open here and the pool's open. Clearly we're gonna be practicing our social distancing. That kinda of brings me to one of my points. I've been unmeaningly, if that's even a word, social distancing from my girlfriend because of all the work. So yeah, I just put up a post um, about her. So if you guys wanna go check out my Instagram, go for it. And then, you know, like that picture because she is awesome. So also she is starting her own little thing. It's called You Movement. She is going to be kind of, her goal with you movement is trying to encompass is like mental health, fitness, and eating healthy. And she's taking on free people right now and she's putting out a weekly meal prep guide and then she's also putting out workouts. So if you guys want, go support my girlfriend. I went downstairs, got some coffee. Yes, we got some gloves, because we gotta wipe the room down. All right, good morning, guys. Day one of the layover here in Fort Lauderdale. So I got up, ate some breakfast. I've been definitely feeling drained with all the traveling going on. So what I'm gonna do is pack up my laptop bag, head to the pool, and just relax down at the pool for a little bit, kind of recharge, get some sun. I'm gonna get a workout in later. Uh, really quickly, give you guys a tour of the room. Got the bathroom, got everything set up. This is my cleaning station, because I clean all my stuff. Shower. These are our new onboard snacks and they are delicious. And then this is the view. Let's get today rolling. Let's go get a coffee, let's get some water, and let's just relax and social distance. Today was a success, posted a video, 
I did a couple other videos, hung out at the pool, and then I went downstairs and I went and checked out the gym. So I went up and checked out the gym. I haven't been here in like eight months. And they added a whole new like turf section. They added a bunch of rogue equipment. So the gym is pretty sweet. So we're gonna head up there. We're gonna actually crush a good workout. In all honesty, I haven't lifted a weight in probably 16, 17 days. Now this would be like a really cool place to have a drone. So I'm gonna be getting a drone here within the next week or two, but I just wanted to double check to make sure that like DJI isn't putting out like another upgraded Maverick Mini. Oof. All right guys, workout is complete. Um, if you guys wanna go check out some workouts, I have workouts posted on my Instagram. It's at Kellum22. And if you guys wanna go check out some funny flight attendant videos, go to my TikTok, it's Chris underscore Kellum. But really quickly, I wanna show you my dinner. This doesn't look that good. So Shanley, like I told you, she's running a free program where she's doing weekly workouts, the meal plans. Um, or meal prep ideas. This one is, I'm gonna put it up on the screen right here. So if you guys want, go follow Shan Lee, reach out to her, tell her I sent you, and that you want to participate in her free weekly workouts and meal prep stuff. So this is Brussels sprouts, diced sweet potatoes, chopped bacon, or turkey bacon, whatever you want to use, goat cheese, and then you put a balsamic glaze over it. I didn't bring the balsamic glaze, but she made this for me like a month ago. Ever since she made this, I've been craving it every day. I could literally eat this mash up every day. I know it doesn't do it justice right here. I'm gonna wind down, edit some videos. We leave tomorrow at like 4.30 p.m. So I have the whole day, so I'm gonna get up early, go back to the gym, because the gym is awesome, and then I'm gonna hang out at the pool all day, and then go to Publix and get some groceries because I ended up like eating all my food that I packed for four days, so. I'm a hungry boy, all right, hungry boy. See you guys in the morning.
Deep down, I know I'm a fighter. Deep down, I know my desires. Everybody thinks that I'm just a liar. They don't know what I got inside ya. I'm not one to fight fire with fire. I'm the type who never lets me get tired. Mess with me and they never will find ya. Shit. People tell me I won't get it. They don't know me cause I'm cold winning. Always in the ninth, thought close in it. Always in my mind, don't know quitting. I'ma be the one that blows up in it. You gon' be the one that shows up missing. I'ma be the one that knows my mission. You gon' be the one with no ambition. I'ma make you take it, take it, take it all back. You ain't never gonna get me, man, I'm too fast. Call me the juice, that 40 yard cash. Always look for it, no, never look back. I just spit the truth, better listen to my best. Give me up in the booth and I put them on a best. All right, guys, workout is complete. Hope you guys enjoyed that workout. So I ended up getting one of these things called the Beckford Bar, and it's a very versatile little tool, and it's pretty compact. And what I do is I just throw it in my suitcase now, and it's gonna be my new layover or workout tool. You can do a lot of things on there. I end up doing a push-up workout today. So if you guys like that, smash that thumbs up. If you guys wanted to check it out, I'll just link it down below. Just literally fits like right there in my suitcase. Super compact, fits in your suitcase, and it's just a way to get a workout in your hotel room if you wanted to, or you could take it to the gym if the gym's open. But what I'm gonna do now is show you guys. So I went to Publix to grab some groceries because I told y'all I'm gonna be out of food here after my next meal. I got two ultimate wraps on spinach. If you know what Publix is, get the ultimate wraps, they're delicious. I bought an extra apple. Uh, I bought this for a snack. I also bought some dried mangoes. So what I always check for when I'm getting like dried fruit is to see if there's any included sugars. And this one has zero grams included sugars. So there's nothing wrong when you get dried fruit and it has sugar in it because fruit naturally has sugar in it. And it's a more natural sugar than the stuff that you use to put in your coffee unless you guys use like Truvia or Stevia. So always check for included sugars, make sure there's none. That's in anything you buy. Um, I know these are bad for you, but I love them. There's zero calorie energy drinks. There's uh, the peach fizz. Peach is pretty good. And then if you guys like cold brew, I got myself a nitro cold brew. They, I've only seen these in Florida. I think it's a Florida company. And then I got some wasabi bold almonds. So yeah, that's my food for the next two days. And then I also bought these ones, these sujas. There's a focus and immunity. But what we're doing to shower, eat, head to the pool, get some sun for a little bit, and then we get a 420 van, and then I'm supposedly deadheading to San Diego. Um, they could change that on me last minute, but as of right now, I'm deadheading. 45 hour layover here in Fort Lauderdale. Had a good time here, I was able to hit the pool, able to hit the gym, forgot what it felt like to hit the gym, and I think that's something to think about and reflect on is the simple luxuries that we might take for granted living in a first world country. For instance, the luxury of being able to go to the pool, going to a gym like right now we don't have those luxuries like 99% of the places are closed so what I've been doing like I told you guys I started in January I started journaling thanks to my beautiful girlfriend who got me into it journaling is a way for me to just sit down and kind of reflect on things and when I've been journaling the past couple of days I've kind of been able to reflect on the luxuries that we have here in a first world country and how grateful and appreciative I am of them so I suggest you guys sit down Start journaling, take note of what you miss, what you appreciate. Soon enough, hopefully sooner than later, everything will be back to normal. I'm about to head downstairs to catch the van. See you guys at the airport. Hey, what's up guys? We are getting ready to fly to San Diego. As you can tell, I got the whole exit road to myself. So what we're doing is deadheading from Fort Lauderdale to San Diego. So if you guys don't know what a deadhead is, a deadhead is you sit as a passenger, but you get paid as if you're working. So we're doing about a five hour flight. Is that what we're doing? Five, five, five. and a half, yeah. You guys want to meet? You want to say hello, Jelly? So this is Jadelli. Yeah. She is working <laughs> F2. Um, we are only working two flights out of seven that we were supposed to have, I believe. And uh, we're deadheading one of them. I usually like to ask the crew like what their favorite part of the job is. Deadheading. So, favorite part of the job? All right, hey. <laughs> Dead <laughs> Do you have any advice for like uh, incoming baby blues or? Um, learn your work rules. Oh, 
always on your rope post and know what you can be pushed to and what you can, can and cannot do. Um, and just take it everything day by day. Um, stay healthy. Um, make sure you bring plenty of essentials with you, your vitamins. Bring your spray. Drink plenty of water. Bring your spray. Love it. Um, that's awesome. That's, that's a good one. So yeah, when I got on the plane, she came down to the, the back galley with the spray and was like, I'm gonna disinfect this whole area. And she just started disinfecting the whole area. So I'm thankful for working with crews that have disinfectant spray. So thank you, Jadeli, and thank you for the input. And we'll see you guys on the flight because I can record on this flight because I'm just sitting here as a pastor. So see you in a bit. Made it to the hotel room. It's 9.40 p.m. West Coast time, which means it's 12:40 a.m. East Coast time, so I'm gonna go to bed. I got a, a 6 a.m. van, so I gotta get up at 5 a.m. But I was gonna record on the flight, but I had the most rude and inconsiderate passenger I've ever had on my flight, and like I didn't do anything. To so start it off, I was sitting in row 11, and this lady was in row 12. She comes on the flight, you know, I'm just sitting there minding my own business, and she goes, "Oh, you guys don't wear masks." And I was like, no, I've, I've literally worked the last eight days in a row. I haven't had time to go get a mask, one. And I was like, two, our company doesn't supply. They don't supply masks. And she's like, oh, that's so rude of you guys. And I'm like, I don't, I don't know what to tell you. She's like, well, can't you make masks? Like, you could you could use a bandana. There's, like, there's stuff you can do. Like, just go research it online. You know, go back to my first answer. I literally have worked the last eight days, and within those eight days, my company just proved us wearing masks. That's how my conversation started with this lady. I just, I just turned back around in my seat and just kind of ignored her because I, I knew it wasn't going anywhere good. This is the second time this has happened to me. Someone has come on the flight and told me that it's like rude, or unsanitary that I don't have a mask like I'd love to have a mask I would but she had like a mask on and gloves and throughout the flight I could just like hear her chomping on her food and she was like using her gloves to like <laughs> grab her like Cheetos and eat them and then she was like walking about the plane touching everything first off that's not how you wear gloves as soon as the flight started she puts her feet up on the seat next to me so like her feet are just like dangling so I'm in the middle seat to put it into perspective and she puts her feet up like on the sidewall and it's like hanging over the sidewall on the armrest in my row and at first I'm like it's not a big deal Chris not a big deal and then I just start smelling her feet and they start smelling bad I'm just like excuse me ma'am do you mind just taking your feet down and she's just like Pah. and she like takes them down and like kind of kicks the seat I'm like alright that's fine not a big deal and then 20 minutes later into the flight she kicks her feet back up there and then like I'm like fuming at this point because like first off this isn't your house like you don't just hop on and just kick your feet up wherever you want and then second off like I'm in that row so do you do that at, like does anybody do that at the movie theaters like if someone's in front of you like do you kick your feet up on their armrests of the people in front of you no you don't it's just common sense but clearly common sense isn't common so she does it a second time and I'm like kind of gather my kind of bring my my blood my blood pressure down think about it and I turn back around I'm like, hey ma'am I asked you to take your feet down do you mind taking your feet down and she looks at me and she goes looks back at her TV and just starts eating her food so then I like put my hand up I'm like hey over here and like she just ignored me five seconds later which felt like a lifetime of me waving at her she goes like this like picture me like peeking her peeking through like the two seats she goes like this like this is my face right here she's like puts her hand on my face and I'm like so I took my I was like I'm not dealing with this so I took my seatbelt off I went out front um, I told the crew the whole situation I was like hey this lady's giving me a tough time she's being inconsiderate and uh, I told them hey like we have these tickets like so I asked her to stop I asked her twice to stop Told her she could move, but she didn't want to move. And uh, I almost gave up my first slip, and I wasn't even working that flight. But just think about it, that's just like so rude. I, I don't know. I think with all these cheap airfare tickets, like these are the types of customers we're gonna get. And I, I think, I think we're gonna start seeing a lot more problems. I think by charging these lower fares, and that's gonna make people that don't travel, travel. 
and I think I think there should be restrictions. I think I think the prices for tickets should be way higher than they are. Like they should be skyrocketed, and like flights should be only used for medical personnel needing to get somewhere to help someone. Like people should not be traveling right now. One, two, we shouldn't even be flying. Anyways, that's the end of my rant. I'm gonna go to bed. I'm tired, and uh, I want to get some good sleep. We're doing one flight back to Boston tomorrow, so I'll see you guys in the morning. I feel like every trip I go on, I have like a mother on board that just like loves to clean everything. So thanks to Jadeli, she's cleaning the whole bag galley. There you go. Sweet. Yeah. Alright guys, we're gonna be boarding here in the next few minutes. And I just want to introduce you to the crew that flew us to San Diego. So we get Dodi and Lorette. Hi. Did I say that right? Lorette? Lorette. Okay. I always ask like, what your favorite, <laughs> what the favorite part of the job is, um, or any advice you guys have for incoming baby blues. That's like... Uh, the nice layovers on the beach. <laughs> yeah, that's I, my favorite I've always part. loved my job. I, I'm one of those, I make the most of my layovers. That's, I still, after seven years, I still fly for layovers. That's just... Yeah, you I love to travel, I love to go play, so. That's awesome. Hopefully well, well, it'll be back to that again someday. And a time off when you can play and use some benefits. Yeah, definitely. Exactly. Yeah. Unfortunately, we weren't able to do anything here in San Diego. We got in last night and then we got up this morning to fly back to Boston. But hopefully when everything calms down, we can uh, explore a little bit more. So. All about staying safe and healthy. Yeah, yeah. Exactly. Stay, right safe, now. stay healthy. Wishing everybody the best. All right, thanks guys. So I appreciate it. Yeah. Bye.